As you know, yesterday, three U.S. service members were killed and dozens of personnel were injured from a one-way attack unmanned aerial system that impacted a U.S. military facility located in northeastern Jordan near the Syrian border. The names of those soldiers who lost their lives were Sergeant William Rivers, Specialist Kennedy Sanders, and Specialist Breonna Moffitt all of whom were assigned to the 718th Engineer Company, a U.S. Army Reserve unit based out of Fort Moore, Georgia. These three fallen heroes were deployed to Jordan in support of Operation Inherent Resolve and the international coalition working to ensure the lasting defeat of ISIS. These brave Americans and their families are in our prayers, and the entire Department of Defense mourns their loss. We also pray for the speedy recovery of those who were injured. Eight personnel who received injuries required medical evacuation from Jordan to the Baghdad Diplomatic Support Center. Three of those patients are scheduled for imminent transport to Landstuhl Regional Medical Center for follow-on care. The other five have been assessed for mild TBIs and are expected to return to duty. We are still assessing what happened and how a one-way attack drone was able to impact the facility. U.S. Central Command continues to investigate this attack, and for operations, security, and force protection reasons, we're not going to discuss further specifics or measures we're taking to prevent such actions or future attacks. But we do know that Iran-backed militias are responsible for continued attacks on U.S. forces in the region. And as the President and the Secretary have stated, we will not tolerate continued attacks on American forces, and we will take all necessary actions to defend U.S. military men and women forward deployed and we will do so at a time and place of our choosing.